Hello everybody, and welcome to Monday with Sanctum 2. So, I think I was using the assault rifle? Alright, let's do this. Something like that. So, if you're not familiar with Sanctum 2, it is a tower defense, sorry, tower defense slash uh, first person shooter. So, I'm going to use slowing tower, Gatlin, and cannon. Okay. Up and at him. So, this is a mission I've actually already completed, so hopefully, I won't fail horribly. <laughs> Basically, if you don't know, like I said, what Sanctum 2 is, you basically are trying to build this maze to keep the enemy from reaching the core back there. So, killing off vermin, one tower at a time. You get a limited number of towers each turn. The rest is pretty much up to you. Alright. You can also upgrade towers to increase their damage and fire capacity. Okay. Right. Now, how do you. There we go. Here they come. Oops. This is definitely one of the easier ones. see what's going to be coming in the next wave. And how many are going to be coming in the next wave. Okay, so... Let me see here. I'm thinking... Yes, I know, it's very dangerous. Very funny. Um... She'll put a cannon there the gap a little more. You do also have a limited amount of funds to build towers and upgrade them. Okay, get ready. Also, some units have a weak spot, which is what you should be aiming. Forgot. All clear uh, for now. Be kind of hard. And now you see, this time I've got a time limit to set up. But don't worry. This is gonna get him. If you don't use all your stuff before the time's up, it will carry over into the next turn. Okay, so we got more thingamabobs. Yes, that's what I call them. So, I'm going to put a gap there just in case they reach there. See, that's now a level 2 gap. Boom. Oops. And yeah, that's the warning that you're running out of time.
basically as these reload, it's best to switch out for your other weapon. Yeah, they got hit there. Nice. Oof. That was easy. Alrighty. Alright, I think my character can double jump. I sort of like the scout from TF2, but not. And as you can see here, I've reached the edge of the limit. So what I'm going to have to do is put them in through there instead. But this rearranging will give me considerably more bases to work with. Alright. Oh yeah. This will do it. Don't let one of them drop on your head, it's quite the This is gonna get him. can't I build them? Oh, I ran out of bit. Okay. I totally know what I'm doing, I swear. Okay, maybe I don't. So, the gaps are probably best placed on the corners like this, because they do a high amount of damage over time, so the longer the people, or the longer the enemies have to go past the gats, the more damage they're going to do. Alrighty. Ah uh, yes, these things. Practically invincible unless you hit them like, in the weak spot. Or you use my explosives. Ow. And here comes Screamers. Although I Personally, we call them spitters. Ouch. Although I think the eye on the front is also a weak spot. It seems to be all of them. Okay, we got two soakers coming in this wave. So let's finish this. Yeah, don't really have much use for any more bases, so. What we are going to do is talking a fake accent of some kind that I've never quite figured out what it's supposed to be. And then we'll jump over here. Almost max that out. Like so, and then let's shoot up some soakers. Here they come. Soakers don't attack, however they obviously soak up more damage. But the more times you hit them, the more damage they take. Which makes the assault rifle a really fantastic Come and get it! Also, the more damage they take, the bigger the spot becomes. They're mostly just used to attract the attention of the towers. All clear for now. Alright, so final wave. Let's see here. I'll drop a tower there. You can overcharge towers, but 
personally, I think that's a waste of time. Alrighty, well, I'm ready to rumble. So, as you can see there, we got a soaker coming in in combination with others. Boobs incoming! See if I could fit in another map. So that's another six slabs. And I hear there's supposed to be a story behind this, but uh, I've never really quite figured out what the story is supposed to be, so. Huh. Okay. And like I said, the assault rifle is a fantastic weapon. However, I am also rather fond of the battle rifle. So as you can see here, I can equip a fourth tower. Which I think we are going to take... Um, probably a lightning tower would be good. Let's see, I think I can also get a special... That's actually been pretty good from what I hear. I'm back. Oh yes, this one. Oh boy, this is not going to end well. We very well could fail this, just so you know. That didn't sound good. Um, let's see here. Killing off Vermin. One tower at a time. Okay, um thinking cannon probably No. I think we want one of these thingamabobs right about here. There we go. I guess we'll upgrade it as well. There we go. Okay, get ready. So, as you can see, I was that one now fixed. It's actually extremely useful. Yeah, I'm still receiving. Because I actually played the demo for like ever. And then it glitched out when I upgraded it and didn't count like half the achievements I got. Or would have got. Anyways. This will do it. Let's see. So let's see what we can do here. It's hard to build a maze and try to talk at the same time. Okay, a Gatlin goes there. And... Bam. Level 
damaged will regenerate some of its health in between waves. This is gonna get him. Uh, out of bases already. That's annoying. These seem to be quite effective. Okay. Oh wait, that was Oh, those things just slow them down. Huh. Oh well. That's still very useful. Oh, snap. Yeah, they do that too. Also, we'll want to keep an eye on your map to make sure they're not coming from a different direction, as they will sometimes do. All clear for now. Boom. See, now they're coming from two directions. Okay, we just got soakers coming from that direction. I think we should concentrate on this one. Suddenly I'm out of funds, that's annoying. So we've got... Okay. What have we got coming from this end? Great. Lovely. Well, I guess in that case we'll... Killing off vermin. One power at a time. This way. Oh, well, I guess that's all the bases I can use over here. Stupid. That's annoying can't even jump over a simple wall. So there are a mine there are mines in here you can deploy and I can't go through a door. Yes, I know. I know that. I don't think I don't. I guess we'll just uh upgrade some towers. Upgrading towers is actually really worth your cash because they deal far more damage and that means less work for you. Which is 
just generally better all around, so. Okay, get ready. Oh, I actually should have gone on the other switch. Like I said, I totally know what I'm doing. Eh, running into walls, that's what I'm doing. Ow. Ow. The double jumping is quite... oh dear. Yeah, they're already at the... what? There was a warrior? Since when? Okay, well, so yeah, that's been Monday with Sanctum 2. Um, so yeah, like I said, it's a pretty enjoyable game. Best played with friends, but it's doable on your own. Um, it's definitely a unique game that's worth considering buying, so yeah. As always, let me know what you guys thought down in the comments, and I will see you guys Friday for the start of the... DLC Don't Eat the Stone series. Bye!